yeah hello guys you are highly welcome to another amazing tutorial on my booty fashion channel on this video i'll be showing you how to stitch uh, this uh, pocket with uh, using a uh, two different method and still uh, right have the same uh, same result this pocket is a trending pocket right now even a lot of people were doing it in the nobody fashion uh, family group so a lot of people were doing it and they are dropping it in the group you can see how nice and beautiful the results are very good kudos to you guys you are really doing an amazing job so in this video i will be showing you two different methods which is the fastest and the simplest method on how to achieve the, this uh, pocket so i'll be using a uh, two different method on uh, each of these uh, pockets without any further delay let's jump into the video yeah the first thing to do is to cut the material you are using so this black material the mat the wideness is a uh, four inches why the length is a uh, 10 inches so the same thing to the other one the length is a uh, 10 inches why the wideness is a uh, 4 inches so that is it and then you cut it in a uh, two pieces for each one the two will be in a uh, two pieces for each one and then you separate it once you separate it you place a black on the on the other material and then you use uh, the other one to you place the other one on it as well then you stitch it straight down and this is it after i've already done the stitches and then you open press it so you open press the two this is the color stay we are using for the pocket and the wideness is a 4.5 while the length is a 5.5 the same thing on the other one 4.5 by 5.5 so that is our average measurement for a pocket so you double fold it like this and once you double fold it you measure the down part like this which is a one inch so you measure one inch here and then you slant it like this you trim it out now you take the second one also you take the second one and fold it like this once you fold it you measure the edge make sure that the edge is equal and then you measure the edge which is a measure 1.0.7 measure 0.7 and roll it straight now you measure 0.7 at the down part here also measure 0.7 and roll it straight measure 0.7 here as well and you roll it straight the next thing to do is to cut this edge out Make sure you use your hand to secure the collar stay so that it will not shift. And that is it. So you measure one inch here. And then you slant it. You can now trim it out. And that is it. So you roll the center now. get the gate of the center as well and then you roll it at the center so here's the material so you can see the way i place this one this one is not facing uh, each other so the black is not facing each other so you have to turn it and make sure that the black material is uh, facing uh, each other you can see the black and the other material is uh, on the other side so you place the center of this uh, color stay on it like this and then you press it so the center of this uh, color stay make sure that it fall on the joining and then you press it like this after you are done with the pressing you have to trim the excess out like this leaving like a 0.5 inches allowance 
please if you are yet to give this video a thumbs up please give this video a thumbs up so that a lot of people will be able to benefit from this video as well and they will be able to learn from this uh, video and then if you are yet to subscribe to this channel don't forget to click on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i drop an amazing video like this again i have over 150 videos on this channel which you can uh, learn from and i would like you to be a member of the noble family as well so you fold the edge like this equal and then you use a aiming gum to secure the edge do this round the pockets and that is it so you take the second one now and then you place the aiming gum here use the aiming gum to secure it round and make sure that the folding is very firm to the stay make sure that it's firm to the stay and then you take your time to do this and that is it so you place the second one on it now And then you stitch it round like this make sure that the stitches fall on the edge you can now use a office pin to secure the to secure the upper parts so that you not shift while you are doing the stitches so once you are done with this you proceed to the sewing machine and do the stitches so that is it on how to use the first method and here is the process of how to use the second one as well so you cut the two in a two pieces like this the same way with this for the first one and then the wideness will be 4.5 by 10 inches so that is the wideness of this also 4 inches by 10 inches rather 4 inches by 10 inches and then you mark the back of the material like this and then you place the one this the black on the blue and place it on this one as well then you stitch the edge straight so this is the color stain now the color still is a 4.5 by 5.5 as well so you cut the two the same size you cut the two for the same size and then you fold this like this measure one inch at the damp parts and you roll it straight like this and you trim it out on the side you measure 0 0.7 and roll it straight down at the bottom line at the upper part like this you measure 0 0.7 also measure 0 0.7 and roll it straight Measure one inch here, one inch, then you roll it straight as well. That is it. So you trim it out like this. Yep. So you iron the material and then you open press it like this. Once you are done with this, you take the color stay and make sure you don't forget to make the black facing uh, each other. Don't forget and then you mark the center of this. You mark the center of the second one also. And then you place it on the joining. Place it on the joining. Make sure that the center fall at the on the joining. Then you press it. So you press the second one also. You get the gate of the center. 
and then you press it like this place it like this then you press it very well now you trim the edge you trim the edge of this leaving 0 0.5 So you can now cut it out, cut this out also, and then you leave zero like a zero point five here. Leave like a zero point five, then you cut it out like this. You notch this angle, notch here, and then you you lose the stitches of this place lose it like this then you cut the thread so you notch the ear as well notch ear also and then you fold it apply emmy gum inside to secure the edge and to make it uh, firm to the color stay apply emmy gum round like this and that is it so you open it like this so you take the first one and then make sure that you place it down like this and then you place it the other one on it you can see how nice it is so the next thing to do now is to stitch it around like this and make sure that the joining fall on each other so once you are done with that this is it after i've uh, stitched the material on it and then you make sure that the stitches fall on the edge and then the joining is a uh, very straight and uh, equal so you cut out the acid at the back and then you weave it with the upper parts also so you cut out the excess here once you are done with this you can now fold the upper parts and then you fold the edge of the other one also you apply emmy gum here now for the edge round fold it around like this and that is it so now let's see the results you can see how nice it is so whichever one you prefer between the two either this uh, one we cut out like this or the one we place it on it like this so the choice is yours and you can see how nice and beautiful the result is please if you are yet to subscribe to this channel don't forget to click on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i have an amazing tutorial for you like this again till the next time we'll be meeting in the next video i say thank you for watching and then bye for now